Alina Rabakina versus Yelena Ostapenko is the first quarter final for the Ladies Australian Open for 2023. And both ladies have upset big names along the way. In the first round, Rabakina came in as the 22nd seed and will take on Chucky Aredo. And after a close first set, she got through in straights, winning through 7-5, 6-3. In the second round, she took on the youngster Yuvan, but this was no trouble for Rabakina, getting through easily under an hour, 6-2, 6-1. In the third round, she'll take on the 13th seed and last year's finalist, Danielle Collins. And after dropping the second set, she eventually got through in three, 6-2, 5-7, 6-2. In the fourth round, she took on the number one player in the world, Iga Fiontek, a player that she had beat in an exhibition only a couple of weeks ago. And after a very close couple of sets, Rabakina got through, taking out the world number one, 6-4, 6-4, to advance to her first Australian Open quarterfinal. Yelena Ostapenko started the tournament off as the number 17 seed and played Jastrzemska in the first round. But this wasn't a problem, getting through in straight sets, 6-4, 6-2. In the second round, she took on the Hungarian Bondaire, and this was a very tough match with the first two sets very close, but Ostapenko ran away with it in the third, taking it in three, 7-6, seven, 5-7, six, seven, six, love. In the third round, she take on Bandel, and again, this posed no problem for Ostapenko, getting through in straight sets, 6-3, six, 6 love. In the fourth round, she would take on the number seven seed, Coco Goff, and after a very close first set, Ostapenko got through in straight sets, causing the upset, 7-5, 6-3, to advance to the quarterfinals. These two have only played twice before with Ostapenko winning both the matches, but they haven't played for about four years, so it's been a long time since they've played, and also since that time, it's been a Rabakin has become the champion of Wimbledon, and now she's equal on Grand Slams with Ostapenko. If Rabakin is going to win this one, she needs to serve well. That's something she did great against with Sriontek. She got through with serves and also got through with great backhands. Her forearm was a little shaky, but the backhand was on point. So the backhand and the serve combination against Ostapenko is going to work. If Ostapenko is going to win this one, she needs to be less error filled. I mean, there was a few errors against Goff. And also a lot of break points on her serve. She gave to Goff. Luckily, she saved them. But if she gives that many break points away, she's not going to get through this match. This is a very interesting matchup because I think a lot of us thought we're going to get Goff taking on Sviantec, which we've seen a million times before. So this is a little bit of a different matchup. Still a champ versus champ match. But I'm going to go with Rabakina. I think she's going to win this one in very close straight sets. Maybe a tie break or two. But let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this quarterfinal?